May 24, Sunday, Solemnity of the Lord's Ascension and World Communications Day A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew The eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, until the end of age. The Gospel of the Lord Make disciples of all nations. Christ lifting up to heaven is an integral part of his paschal mystery, passion, death, resurrection, and ascension. But Jesus will come again at the end of time. Even as the disciples direct their gaze to heaven, the Lord commands them to look back to their mission on earth. Jesus' ascension to the Father does not separate him from the world. Rather, through the Spirit he sends, Jesus becomes even more present to his disciples. The Lord Jesus was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God, but they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. On his message on Ascension Sunday, Pope Francis explains this feast contains two elements. On one hand, it directs our look to heaven, where Jesus glorified is seated at the right hand of God. On the other, it recalls the beginning of the church mission. Why? Because Jesus, risen and ascended into heaven, sends his disciples to spread the gospel throughout the world. Therefore, the ascension exhorts us to raise our gaze to heaven, to then turn it back immediately to earth carrying out the tasks that the risen Lord has entrusted to us. The Holy Father further comments that the mission entrusted to a few, simple men without great intellectual capacities, seems to be boundless and beyond human strength. But he continues, This meager company, irrelevant in the face of the world's great powers, is sent to bring Jesus' message of love and mercy to all corners of the earth. Jesus assures his little band that the Holy Spirit will sustain them as they begin their work and that work is continued by their successors. So today's Christians must continue the mandate entrusted by Jesus to the apostles and his disciples. By his ascension into heaven, Jesus gives us hope since he has gone ahead of us and opened the gate of heaven for us. The church teaches us some basic truths derived from Christ's ascension. First, the ascension marks the Jesus' exaltation into the heavenly realm of his Father. Second, it does not separate Christ from us because as he promised from the heaven, he draws everyone to himself. Third, since he lives forever to make intercession, Christ continues to exercise his priesthood since he entered heaven itself that he might now appear before God on our behalf. Finally, he ascended Christ as head of the church, gives us, members of his body, the hope of one day entering into glory with him.